Yo, what's going on boys? So I'm gonna show you guys the best skins to wear for the lowest input delay and the highest FPS and also a mini Fortnite optimization inside of it. Um, but quickly, before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys that Fortnite has been slowly lowering the quality of skins prior to Chapter 2 Remix. um so basically if you guys like look at every skin essentially that like just that just that i have from like here basically and down uh all of these skins have lower resolution textures uh and i will show you guys right here for example this before and after you can see before and now after they have less uh textures and te less like resolution and they just look a little bit worse as you can see here there's tons of before and afters on this reddit post you can see there is just less texturing and thus making these skins have a lower input delay see how texture set to low there's no difference anymore um so basically specific skins now have lower resolution textures if they were made prior to remix season so there is a ton of skins that are now gonna have lower input delay just because of that so i would make sure that you guys don't wear any brand new skins wear skins from like chapter three and less maybe chapter four you guys want to wear something super basic like the super hero skins or pit stop or just anything where there's not really much going on um so yeah that's all i want to tell you guys there is now skins that have lower resolution textures than brand new skins so i would recommend to use lower resolution skins and older skins to get that lower input delay benefit but now i'm going to do a little mini Fortnite optimization as well in this video to show you guys so first what you're going to want to do is go to your settings make sure you're on full screen make sure you're on 1920 by 1080 or 1600 by 900 you can even go to 1280 by 720 by when do that much make sure your frame limit is to your monitor's refresh rate so for me mine's 270 so in game which i will show you it is 270 <laughs> Color by mode, this is preference. Brightness you should have at the lowest, but I just like it up. View distance, put this to near. I like it medium just so I can see guns further. And then textures as well. You guys are gonna wanna put textures to medium for your GPU to take a little bit of the load so that there's a bit less input delay there. Nvidia reflex, low latency test for me off is best. Then once you're done, uh, you guys can go to the game tab turn off all your replays and turn off energy saving turn off nvidia highlights peripheral lighting and then once that is done close your game game user settings uh i will put in here a thing for you guys to just like download if you don't want to copy me i will put it in the discord which is discord.gg ski we have 4115 members as of right now I've recently uploaded a short. I'm gonna upload uh, this video, obviously, so make sure you guys watch everything that I'm posting right now because I'm giving out a lot of good information and tips to the community. Uh, it's gonna be right here in files, so it's gonna be named like Fortnite Optimization or Fortnite Game Config. So make sure that you guys do do that. If you guys are looking for a professional optimization, I've worked with hundreds of pros and thousands of people. I have multiple services. So if that interests you, if you wanna get the best performance out of yourself and your system, make sure you guys do purchase so what you guys are gonna want to do is make sure motion blur is false show grass is false fps is false zero disabled these don't matter custom uh dlss zero 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 um these thing mouse excel all these are gonna be off right you do not want these they're not very beneficial keep scrolling down all the way to here ray tracing falls view distance quality put this to zero texture quality put this to zero or one for medium uh foot foliage quality to zero because you guys don't want to see your grass in high resolution of course and then you guys are going to look for frame rate limit i'm just going to search it frame rate just like that frame rate limit put it here in monitors to refresh rate so see if mine is 270 so that's what mine is going to be on right then you guys are going to click Control S, and that is going to save it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my desktop. 
I'm gonna upload it while you guys can see it so you guys know what is here for you all. Mm -hmm. So bang, there's that. Make sure you guys buy that or not buy that. Download it and use it if you don't want to. If you want to know how to apply it, once you download it, go back to local app data, Fortnite saved config Windows client, and then literally just drag and drop uh like this drag it in and replace and then you're good next you guys are going to want to go to your epic games run it as administrator don't do an update settings turn all of this off do this for throw download to helps your download speed boost a little uh then you guys can put this no texture streaming you guys can also do uh dash no force feedback and then dash no splash those are really all i would recommend they do help a good amount okay so next what you guys are going to want to do is go to your three folder because again this is going to be another thing that you guys are going to be able to download in here which i'll show you all so first what you guys want to do is turn on hags turn this on uh on Windows 11 is typically better you can test on versus off uh for me i'm a little bit mixed on it i haven't really done in-depth testing so i don't really mind too much uh uninstall any useless applications that you guys use so for me i kind of use everything here i don't use hex editor anymore so just uninstall yes okay and then that's what you guys want to do for everything in here that you do not use make sure you guys also choose a power plan so there's these three for me you guys should have like high performance balance etc make sure you guys just go on the highest one usually high performance ultimate performance stable core isolation which I don't have on my OS, but you'll see it. Just turn it off and then uninstall game bar. As you guys can see, the basic script is right there. Run as admin. It's going to uninstall your game bar. And then that is really all you guys are going to need to do for your optimization for Fortnite. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's not really too, too much or too advanced, but I just need to make a basic video and talk about the low resolution textures that Fortnite has been doing because it's 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 really crazy that they have been doing that and a lot of people don't know and i feel like you guys do deserve to know uh that some skins are actually giving you an advantage now so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you all next time peace love you all bye bye